Welcome to AI for Winner. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful and popular image generator models out there. Leonardo AI. With Leonardo, you can craft stunning, high-quality images of almost anything you can imagine. But let's be honest, creating consistent character images has always been a bit tricky. That is, until now, thanks to a massive new update, you can effortlessly generate an unlimited number of consistent character images with Leonardo AI. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step method to achieve this. So buckle up and let's get started. First of all, create a new account. The link is in the description of this video, or log in to your existing account. Once you log in, your interface will look like this. Here, you'll discover various features of Leonardo AI, including tools to create images, and even videos using the motion option. Today, I'll focus solely on how to generate consistent character images with Leonardo AI, so I won't dive into the other features. Let's go straight to the image generation tool. When you click on it, your interface will look like this. Previously, you may have seen an interface like this, but with the latest update, Leonardo AI has revamped the layout and introduced some exceptional new features. Let's take a closer look. This is the prompt box, and now you'll notice an image uploader option here. If you click on it, you'll find new features such as style reference, character reference, and content reference. Today, I'll be using this character reference to create consistent character images. But before we dive into that, let's create a new character image for our virtual model. First, we need to enter a detailed prompt. I'll be using a pre-prepared prompt, which you can find in the description box. After entering the prompt, you can enhance it using the improve prompt feature. Once everything is set, click the generate button. And here we go. Our images are ready. They're absolutely stunning. Now you can select one of these as your new virtual influencer model. If you're not entirely satisfied with the image, you can adjust the settings and generate more customized options. Let's try that again. On the right side of the page, you'll find presets that allow you to create images for various use cases. With these presets, you can generate anime concept art, portrait photography, cinematic images, and even stock photography style images. As we aim to create a model image, I'll start by selecting the Portrait Perfect preset. Once chosen, head over to the preset style settings. Here you'll find a variety of styles like bokeh, cinematic, fashion, retro, and more. Pick the one that best suits your needs. I'll go with the portrait bokeh for this example. Next, I'll adjust the contrast to medium. Moving on to the generation mode, keep in mind that selecting the quality option will take longer to generate the images and consume more coins. After that, you'll set the image dimensions and the number of images. These are standard options you're likely familiar with. Now let's dive into the advanced settings. Here, you can fine-tune the model. I've had great results with the Kino XL model, so I won't be changing it, but feel free to experiment with different models. As for the photo reel option, I recommend keeping it on. Lastly, you'll see options for negative prompts, transparency, tiling, and fixed seeds. These are worth exploring, though I'll skip them for now. Alright, now let's generate an image using these settings and the same prompt. I'll hit the generate button, and here we go. Our new images are ready. This time, Leonardo AI has delivered more customized and higher quality images. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now that our model is ready, we'll create more images using the same face. To do this, click on the image icon and select the character reference option. Next, we'll need to upload the reference character's face. Since we just created our model with Leonardo, head over to the Your Generations tab. Here, you'll find all your previously generated images. Select the image you want to use as your model, or feel free to upload any of your previous model images as well. Once you've uploaded the character reference image, click on the drop-down menu to continue. Now you can adjust the intensity of the reference value. I'll set it to high for this example. After that, you can customize the prompt to generate images in a different environment. For instance, I'm adding a few lines like, sitting behind a table in a cozy restaurant. Once everything is set, click the generate button. After a short wait, the result images will be ready. Here they are. Our new images maintain the same face as our model but with a different environment. This way, you can create unlimited consistent character images using Leonardo AI. But that's not all. 
You can also generate consistent character images in a specific pose. For example, if I want to generate images of our model in a particular pose, I'll click on the image icon again, and then select the View More button. Here you'll discover some of the new features Leonardo AI has to offer. If you'd like to learn more about them, let me know in the comments section. I'll make a separate video on this, but for now, let's dive in. First, select the Pose to Image feature. Next, upload your pose reference image. After uploading, set the intensity of the pose, then enter your prompt and hit the Generate button. And here it is, the newly generated image. Every image features the same face and pose, making this a game-changing feature. In conclusion, Leonardo AI was already a powerful image generation model, but with this update, it has become truly superior. Now you can generate consistent character images effortlessly with Leonardo AI. All right, friends, I'm wrapping up the video now. Before I go, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new Leonardo AI update. Share your opinions and results in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.